Sometimes in Flash, I don't want to make my own graphics. I want to bring in something I already have. So I'm going to do that by going File, Import, and I've got two options. I can import to the stage or I can import to the library. Since I'm going to show you how to work on this right now, I'm going to import to the stage. It'll bring it right into my uh, stage area. I'm going to import this King file. I'm going to just tell it to um, bring it as a single flattened bitmap. And here it is. Now, if I want to edit this, I, I am kind of limited when it's in this state. Because if I try to use the eraser tool, I can't get to it. So I have two options. The first of these is that I can break it apart. So I've selected it, I've right clicked, I'm choosing break apart. Basically does like a, uh, a pixel by pixel trace of the graphic. And now I can actually use my like eraser tool on it to sort of clean this up and get rid of stuff. I can use my lasso to like get big swaths of it and then um, delete to clean it up. Um, what I can't do is if I select this thing, it, it grabs the whole picture. So that is the limitation of this because I'm going to show you a way that you can sort of um, make it so you can just click on a color and it will automatically select the color. But the benefit of this guy is it, it still looks like the photograph. So I'm going to undo a couple steps here so I can get back to what I had before. I broke it apart. So here I have my original image again. Your second option is to go up to modify and tell it to trace the bitmap. And what it's going to do is it's going to approximate the art um, that you have. And you can mess with these um, down here very smooth. It'll make it look more like a drawing that you did. If you go back up to pixels, it makes it look closer to the original graphic. I'm just going to leave it in the middle for now and let it um, do the default settings. And you'll see it doesn't quite look like a photo. It looks like a piece of artwork that I've created. And I can still use the eraser tool on it. But the really cool thing about having converted it in that way is that I can select this and just hit delete and look, I just got rid of the background. That's awesome. Fast work. I can highlight things and just get rid of them. And now I have this thing. It looks like I drew it, but I didn't have to actually draw it. I made it from a picture that I already had. Um, once you've got this cleaned up the way you want, if it's not already in a symbol, um, you can highlight the whole thing and you can right click and convert it to a graphic that you can put in your library. So I'm going to call this King Graphic. Okay, now he's over here. I can bring in as many kings as I want. Too many kings I think is obviously going to cause problems, but there you have it. Okay, and you can scale these guys down if you want to. Boop, boop, rotate them. Oh, he's upside down. And that is how you bring in stuff that already exists outside of Flash and turn it into an actual integrated piece of um, art and then assemble in Flash.